But as the New York Times reports today, beyond the vacancies at the regional offices, beyond the number of vacant positions, Texas also faced the loss of experienced people who would typically have helped communicate with local authorities in the hours after flash, flash flood warnings were issued overnight. Like, say, for example, the warning coordination meteorologist with decades of experience who left that exact job in that exact place in the middle of the onslaught against government agencies led by Donald Trump and Doge. There are real consequences to this president's efforts to dismantle the U.S. government. It's not just about ideology. It is about lives. Joining us now is Eric Holthouse. He's a meteorologist and the founder of Currently Weather Service. He's been doing some frankly, harrowing reporting on the collision of budget cuts and climate change and science for The Guardian newspaper. His latest article for The Guardian is titled, Texas Floods Reveal Limitations of Disaster Forecasting Under Climate Crisis. Mr. Holdhouse, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. 